It is Monday, April 15th, 2019. Today was the day I had my root canal done. First time I've ever had to do that. Tia is a pro. She's had I maybe three done at this point. I had one on her honeymoon. And I think two others throughout the years. I could be wrong. It could just be two. Sure seems like a lot more than that, though. Anyway, so... My appointment was for 10.30 this morning. I saw uh, Dr. Carpenter and he, you know, did all the tests, recommended that I do the root canal. Um, basically said that because probably as a result of, you know, doing the thing on the tooth and the fact that, you know, there was probably a little cavity and it was kind of getting from underneath and, and anyway, so the swelling and the pressure that was inside of the tooth and up here um, it would keep growing and growing and there was no way to make it go away so root canal fine so I go out and <laughs> they say it's going to be like twelve hundred dollars <clears throat> yikes so anyway um, they asked me when I could come back and I said I'm good for any time so schedule me when you can get me in. And I told them, vacation in two weeks. Uh, I want everything done by then. So they said, they, they moved some stuff around. You know, a couple of people had certain, they tried to call them. Anyway, I got in at three o'clock. No. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I'm having a brain fart. When did I go? I thought, I thought it was something 30, like 3.30. No, I guess it was three. Yeah, that's right. Okay, three o'clock. Um, I got there. I, I went out after I left, went out, took pictures, finished all that up, got there at like 2.15, and I was waiting until like 2.35, 2.40. I don't remember exactly when I went in, but I went in. And I said, I'm here early. I just wanted to make sure I was here. Um, and I was just sat in the lobby. And they called me at like right at 3 o'clock. They called me in. Oh, my God. First of all, Dr. Babotis ended up being the one who did my surgery. I don't know why they changed it. My bill and my receipt still say Dr. Carpenter. Um, I think it just kind of is the way the schedule worked out because they had to switch some people around. But anyway, uh Man, he shot me up hard with Novocaine. I mean, I'm glad. <laughs> so first, he put that little Q-tip in there with the, the Novocaine on it, stuff just to kind of numb the surrounding area, which is what Dr. Donovan has done. But usually he leaves it in there and comes back like five or ten minutes later and then shoots me up with the Novocaine. Dr. Papotis did not do that. He left it in there for about 30 seconds and then shoots the Novocaine in and I was like oh my god I feel every single bit of that then he goes shoots it another one and then he goes on the inside and shoots one and I felt every inch of that needle going into my mouth it's still sore like I can still feel it it just feels like he jammed it right into my bone and I remember when he got done there was a welt there where it had just bubbled up and uh, it dripped in my mouth. Oh, it was gross. Then he let me sit for about 10, it might have been 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, eventually he came back in and he pulls the needle out and he shoots me up again in like two or three different places. So I didn't really feel a thing. The worst part, it took about an hour. The worst part was that I had to keep my mouth like this for an hour and by about 10 minutes till the end I think I started doing this and he said okay I need you to open wide for me and I was like I can't tell if I am or not because my jaw is completely numb not from the Novocaine just because it's like flexing a muscle as hard as you can and that you just can't feel anything anymore. It's like that. Um, but I got through it. There was some uncomfortable moments with the drills, like when you would change from a, a small drill bit to a bigger drill bit, and it would almost feel like my head was vibrating from, from, 
<laughs> Luckily, none of it hurt. Um, but I, uh, it, it took about an hour. So 4.30, he, he actually started everything at about 3.30. 4.30 rolled around. I was pretty much done. Um, I was able to pay, it was like a 50-50 split. I didn't have to pay the whole thing up front this way. If, you know, they could file it, then hopefully things will be taken care of. I need to see how much money we have in the account. I don't really know because I have to pay for the, also do the crown. So, all right, so my whole face, I have another videos that I did of the actual day, but my whole face was just, I couldn't do, couldn't do that, <whistles> couldn't whistle. I mean, I was just like, so like I could do this, but I couldn't do it on the other side. I was like, I can't now. But, and then whenever my nostrils would flare, only this one would flare out. This one wouldn't move at all. It's really weird. But, I mean, it was like that all the way up until I went to the movies tonight at 7 o'clock. And all of a sudden, just, I was in line, couldn't do it. Then all of a sudden, there it was. I was whistling. I was like, oh, I whistled. So, so tomorrow, what I need to do is, um, there's a Crowns Now right down the street. I need to get some quotes from them and see if I can get an appointment because I need this done before we go to Disney. Hopefully, he said I needed to get a crown on it within two or three weeks. So hopefully I can get one. Um, hopefully. So I'm going to go there tomorrow, see what I can do. I mean, there's like 50 of those places in town now. Um, maybe I can get in one of those places faster and get it done. As of right now, it still hurts. I mean, it's the gums. Like, it, it feels like where where he jabbed the, the needle in. But he also left it very rough. I don't, that's, that's, I think that's the worst thing that came out of this whole thing is that he left it all just rough and jet. He didn't sand it down or make it nice and smooth like Dr. Donovan always did when he put a filling in. He just packed it in there and said, okay. And there were ridges on it, and it was, I mean, it just, I mean, it's, it just feels like there's something stuck in my tooth. Like when I was, we went to the movies tonight, um, you know, I, we were eating pop, I was eating popcorn on this side, not at all on this side. And even though I was, I was like, did I get something in it? Because it feels like there's like mushed popcorn up in there. It wasn't, it's just, that's the way it feels. It's weird. I don't like it. So hopefully it gets taken care of quick so I don't have to keep feeling that. I just feel like a tooth. Um, okay, enough of that. I'll keep you updated on that tomorrow when I go check at Crowns Now. Um, I uh, went with Matthew and Tia and my dad and Eve and Anna and we saw Goonies tonight in the theater. It only ended up costing $5 each. So that was pretty cool. Apparently my dad had a coupon. So if you use the app, five dollars instead of seven so that was pretty cool I haven't seen that movie in the theater since it came out in like 1983 or whatever it was 86 I don't know when it came out so but that was pretty much my day oh a recap last night I couldn't sleep last night heck it's 1 40 in the morning now I could barely like, there's stuff I want to do, so I'm not going to bed now. But I, I slept for like an hour last night. And I don't know how the heck I lasted throughout the day. I mean, I was really sleepy this morning because about 4 o'clock, I finally put the phone down and dozed off. And as soon as I dozed off, within a half hour, I hear Fidget over there jingling around. And then she pooped. Like, I looked over at her, and her tail's curved, her feet are... I dragged her out of that room and pushed her out of the room. Like, first I dragged her over her pillow, and then I pushed her out of the room by her butt, all the way downstairs, all the way outside. And then Dancer diarrhea in her cage. I don't know what was up with her, but anyway. So, it was a pain in the butt last night. So I never got back to sleep. I mean, I did for about... I'd say probably a half hour. I vaguely recall dozing off and then waking up about 7 o'clock 
So I only slept for like maybe a half hour, 45 minutes last night, but at least I got something. I didn't stay up all night like I did the night before or the other night, whenever it was. So Fidget sleeping downstairs tonight. I'm not even bringing her upstairs. I left her outside for a while. I read a dancer's mask and left her out for a while, but she's getting punished and she's gonna stay downstairs. So there. One last thing. Um, I got two wise cams in the mail the other day, and I have finally put one up. So I have two wise cams. The living room is the one that I just connected, and the outside one's been there. So I'm going to put another one in the front room. And then I'm just waiting for the other stuff to come whenever they finally decide to send it in May. All right, that is it. I have nothing else to say.